Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG opening. So I've got all my pins right here, and uh, there's like a million of them on here. I think I'm up to like 27 total now, and this is going to be 28. Um, we are opening the Mythical Celebi Pokemon Collection, or uh, the, the Celebi from the Mythical Pokemon Collection. So I'm looking at the pin here. It's kind of got like a Mickey Mouse type of pose going on. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, yeah, Celebi's never been exactly like my favorite Pokemon, but I don't hate it. Uh, which, you know, it's better than a lot of them. It's like an onion or whatever. Anyways, we're going to open it up. I have played using uh, Celebi before, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and these pins are really, really nice. Like, just in terms of, um, even just like, looking at this new one, uh, it's a fantastic pin. Um, so, you know, these, uh, they they really went all out for this mythical collection thingy. So, hopefully we get, uh, or, you know, hopefully the, uh, the trend can do, it looks nice. So, we'll open it up. Let's go ahead and just start. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can tear this thing open. Um, obviously not saving boxes. Ain't nobody got time to save no boxes. Oh my gosh, they glued it so hard. Ah, come on, you. Yeah, I don't have the space for boxes. Alright, so, here's that. We'll got the little leaflet thing. We'll just toss that over there. Okay. So, let's see what's in this. Don't fall. Don't fall. I hey, didn't fall. It fell. Um, okay, so, we got this little Celebi pin. Uh, I've got more light than I did last time. I just, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I recorded it at night. But yeah, okay, so let's look at this pin. So it's got uh, two different tones of blue for the eyes, which looks really nice. A little blue on the end of the antenna. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's Yeah, it's a really nice pin. Um, yeah, cool. I'm very happy with that. Let's go ahead and put that right here. It's a nice shade of green, too. It really stands out. Let's see. Um, just toss that over there. Put that down. It's code will be on Twitter. Um, and, let's see, time, er, let's see, let's take a look at the card. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, it's got time call, uh, flip a coin, if head, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, and put it onto that Pokemon. This counts as evolving that Pokemon, and, uh, shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay, so basically, you get to evolve something. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you could, like, uh, mega evolve your guy. That actually seems pretty good. Uh, and then bleach seed. Heal 10 damage from this Pokemon, does 10 damage. Uh, and it has 70 health. I actually, I could, this more so than the Mew, I could definitely see people using. Uh, it's not an EX, obviously. Um, so, you know, your opponent doesn't get to take two prizes when they beat him, or her, or whatever. I guess it can be either, right? Or neither. Uh, anyway, yeah, it actually seems pretty good. So, neat. And then we've got two of these packs. They're generation packs. Uh, so red and blue. Now we'll just toss this over here. I literally toss those across the room every time I do that. Uh, but anyways, okay, so, um, I guess we'll open the Charizard first. Cause I'll, that, oh gosh. I almost dropped it, guys. That would have been embarrassing. It's still kind of embarrassing. Anyway, uh, so I don't think there are codes in these. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure there weren't. And I don't actually know, um, what I should do for, like, opening them, so I'm just gonna go in standard order. So we got a Krabby with Vice Grip and Crab Hammer. A Geodude. Now I like the art on this Geodude. It's goofy looking to me. Anyway, cool. Meowth with Exhausted Tackle. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 uh, damage to your opponent's Pokemon. And if tails, 30 damage to itself. Not very good. We got a Slowpoke. Ooh, that's a weird looking Slowpoke. Anyway, what's he got? Spacing out. Flip a coin. If heads deal t uh, heal 10 damage from this Pokemon, not very good. And scavenge. Discard a psychic energy attached to this Pokemon, and if you do, put an item from your discard pile into your hand. That seems okay, but not not super amazing. Um, let's see. We got a reverse hollow Hitmonlee with stretch kick. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And spiral kick. 30 damage. So, I've actually come up against this guy before. He's pretty good. Uh, next up. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got a Charizard. And it's got all sorts of little dealies on the side here. Not really sure what up, uh, what's up with that, but I like the art. Looks really nice. It's got, like, a trainer and a Charizard, obviously. And it looks like 
uh, Charizard is sheltering him from the snow. Uh, so what's he got? Recall. Choose one of your p opponent or er, choose one of this Pokemon's attacks from its previous evolutions, and use it as this attack. That's uh, that's pretty good if I recall. Uh, I, ha, um, yeah, I think I've seen some people using that like online and stuff. And then Combustion Blast. This Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast during your next turn, but it does one thirty. Not too shabby. I yeah, like I said, I've seen people uh, talk about this card. It's pretty good apparently. So neat. And then we got a Gyarados. Ooh, that's a cool looking Gyarados. So he's got Berserker Splash. This attack does 10 damage to each benched Pokemon, uh, both yours and your opponents. And Aqua Tail. Flip a coin for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 30 more damage for each heads. Very cool. Uh, so if I recall, um, you can really do some big damage with Aqua Tail. Uh, yeah, that's neat. Next up, we got a Flabebe. Um, with a little flower thing on the side here. And it's got Razor Leaf. We got a red card. Now this one's pretty good. Uh, your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. And then... What the heck? Imakuni? What? Ima... What? Your active Pokemon is now confused. The heck is this? What's with the face? What is this? Huh? That is strange. I have no idea what that is. I feel weird picking it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we get. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay. Sorry, I'm standing off to the opposite side of the camera that I usually do. Uh, just toss that over there. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Caterpie with Adaptive Evolution, and uh, that allows him to evolve right when he uh, hits the field. And Bug Bite, 10 damage. Ooh, Machop with a big boulder on it. Kind of looks like an Atlas or something with Knuckle Punch. I actually really like the art for that. We got an Electric Energy. Fantastic. Shelter. <laughs> Rain Splash, 20 damage. It's a goofy looking Shelter. We got a Paris with Blot. Heal 10 damage from this Pokemon. Dedene. Aw, oh, sweet. Okay, so what's it got? I love the art on this. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Ah, I like Dedenne. Uh, it's too bad Dedenne's not very good. He's okay in the TCG, but he's horrible in the games. Uh, anyways, what's he got? Uh, rest, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. This Pokemon is now asleep. And Pachi, flip a coin. If heads of this attack does 20 more damage. Yeah, it's not very good, but it's super cool looking. Um, yeah. I don't know. Next up. Doug Trio with Earthquake and Rock Tumble. Let's see, Earthquake. This attack does 10 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. That's horrible. And Rock Tumble. This attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. We got a Snow Run. Now, we've got one of these before. Um, Icy Snow, and he's got the little Pikachu uh, Snowman. I don't know if you can say it. And we got Metapod, another adaptive evolution guy, and Harden. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon would be damaged by an attack. Prevent that damage done to uh, uh, done to this Pokemon if that damage is 60 or less. So it doesn't really help. And last one, I think, yeah, Maintenance. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck, and then draw a card. So we didn't get anything super amazing, but we did get that Charizard that's pretty cool. And I think the Gyarados is pretty cool as well. We got a very strange looking card. Um, I don't even understand this. Like, what is it? Um, but yeah, uh, this Charizard's awesome. So, and of course, I, I like I said, I like this Dedenne. I wish it was good, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, check out that Charizard. Super cool. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, uh, last thing we gotta do. Putting the pin up on the uh, on the lanyard here. And I am... I moved them all, I, I moved them closer to each other, but I'm still almost out of space. So, that's pretty horrible. But I do like this pin. Yeah, super nice. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pop it on here. Right here. This looks like a good spot. If I can get it on there. Maybe. There we go. And this thing, like I said, I like the Mew one better, just because this Mew is awesome looking. Let's see. Can you see it in the good light? Yeah. But uh, this is, it has nice qualities too. So that's good. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, like I said before, oh wait, let's actually go over this because I don't think I really went over it as well as I could have. Um, so, 
for this. Um, from what I understand, there's a, a different pin and a giveaway of some sort every month, uh, other than January, I guess. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'm only seeing 11. Um, but yeah, a different... Um, like, you know, giveaway in the games and pin each month. So we've got the Mew and the Celebi. I don't know what will come next, but I'm very much looking forward to Genesect, Victini, Meloetta, uh, Shaman's okay, and uh, Jirachi's okay too. I didn't used to like Jirachi, but he's been doing a lot for me in the Pika tournament. Let's go ahead and flip this on over. So we've got a little checklist for, uh, for each of our guys. I guess, oh, that means Jirachi's next, and then Darkrai. Ah oh, man, gen the ones I'm looking forward to are last. Lame. Oh, well. And apparently... Um, hmm. Uh, there's going to be some sort of EX thing as well. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, cool. Uh, anyways, guys, that's uh, super neat. I can't wait to get the rest of these pins. They're, uh, um, yeah, they're super nice. And, you know, I'm always hype for a celebration of, uh, of Pokemon's history. So yeah, I think this is pretty fun. Uh, like I said before, if you want this code, it'll be on Twitter probably later today. Um, at, at time of me uploading this, obviously. I'm recording this, like, two weeks in advance or something, but yeah, I'm, uh, it'll be uploaded, or, you know, it'll be on Twitter the day this goes live. So if you're into that sort of thing, feel free to follow me on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.